Welcome to our lecture online. We have a similar identity for the curl. In other words, we can have two vector fields, f and g. We can take the curl of the first vector field. We can take the curl of the second vector field, add those together, and we should get the same result as first adding the two vector fields together and then taking the curl of that sum. We're going to illustrate that by these, this particular example. So let's find the curl of each of the, the two vector fields. And so that's the format of finding the curl. So we take i and we multiply that times the partial derivative of y with respect to y plus, or the partial derivative with respect to y of the y plus 2z, which simply gives us a 1, minus the partial derivative with respect to z of this term, which gives us 0. Then it's minus the j component. We do the same, the partial derivative with respect to x of this component, which is 0, minus the partial derivative with respect to z of this component, which is x squared, and then plus the k component. We take the partial derivative of x with respect to, or with the partial derivative with respect to x of this component right here, which is y squared, minus the partial derivative of y uh, with respect to y of this component, which is 0. And then if we simplify that, we get 1 in the i direction, the minuses cancel out, so plus x squared in the j direction, and plus y squared in the k direction. So that's the curl of the first vector field. We'll do the same for the second. So we get i times, we get the partial with respect to y of xz squared, which is 0, minus the partial with respect to z of xy squared z, so that would be xy squared, minus the j component times the partial of this with respect to x, which is z squared, minus the partial with respect to z of this, which is 0, and plus the k component, let's see if I have enough room there to squeeze that in, the partial of this with respect to x, which is y squared z, minus the partial of this respect to y, which is 1. Yeah, we just squeezed it in there. We can simplify that a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. This is, would be a minus xy squared in the i direction, a minus z squared in the j direction, and we have plus y squared z minus 1, oop, that should be a minus 1 in the k direction. There we go. So now we've found the curl of each individual vector field. Now let's find the curl of the sum of the vector fields. So this is equal to i times the partial with respect to y of this, which is going to be 1 minus the partial with respect to z of this, and they'll give us an xy squared. Minus j, and uh, so that would get the partial with respect to x of this component, which is uh, z squared minus the partial with respect to z of this, and that will give us an x squared, plus the k component, and that would be the partial with respect to x of this, that will give us a y squared plus y squared z, minus the partial with respect to, let's see here, with k component, a partial of, with respect to y of this, and that would be a 1. Okay, so now that should be the same result as when we add these two together. So now what we need to do here is add this and this together. And let's see what we get. So when we sum them together, so we have the curl of F plus the curl of G, which is equal to, for the X component, we get 1 minus XY squared in the i direction. Let's see if we get the same thing we have over here. So far, so good. Next, we're going to add these two together. So that would be plus, so we have x squared minus z squared in the j direction. And we have the same thing because there we have a plus. Here we have a minus. This minus will switch that around. So we have the same quantity. And finally, plus, when we add these two together, we get um, y squared plus y squared z minus 1 in the k direction. So here we have a y squared, a y squared z, and a minus 1, and it looks like 
we get the exact same result. So again, there we go. I did it in number two. We can first take the curls of the two individual vector fields, add them together, or add the two vector fields together, and then take the curl, and we should get the same result. That's what we mean by identity two.